Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading for January 20th, 2024. Welcome to Shredding La Belle Tarot. I hope you guys are well and safe today. Just keep in mind, Scorpio, that this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, so this message may not resonate with everyone. Just take the parts that do resonate for yourself and leave the rest for someone else. Also keep in mind that my readings are timeless, so it doesn't matter when this reading comes across your platform. Whenever it does come into your energy is whenever it is meant for you, okay? All right, let's jump right in here. Right now we are in Beaumont, Texas, okay? And our drive across the U.S., so I'm a little tired, okay? But I have enough energy to do this reading, so let's do it. If I can get the cards to shuffle again. Yeah. <laughs> there we go, oh my goodness. Spirit guides, God, angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael, show me the cards that I need to see for Scorpio today, please. Angel number 234 might mean something to someone out here. Yesterday, I picked up a bag of trash for my challenge on TikTok. It's called Get the Bag Challenge. You can look up my TikTok in the description box below if you want to. It's called Stay Sober and Challenge. And my bag of trash yesterday weighed 2.34 pounds. And then we got a hotel room tonight, and the hotel room is number 234. <laughs> okay, so... Look up angel number 234. I think I looked it up yesterday. It's a good one. I can't remember exactly what it means off the top of my head, but... I cannot shuffle these cards right now, and I don't know why. It's driving me insane. Ancestors, spirit guides, god, angels, archangel Michael. Show me the cards that I need to see for Scorpio today, please. You guys could be working a lot right now or working very hard on something. It could be a particular project, okay, or it could be work, like your actual job or something like this, okay? Working a lot right now with the Eight of Pentacles pop out. One, two, three, four. Let me get one more four, please. One, two, three, four, okay? All right, we have the Tower in the past, the King of Pentacles in the present, and the Nine of Cups in the future, all right? Whew. All right, so in the past, Scorpio, you could have went through something um, really life-changing, okay? It could, be in, could have been something good or bad. Um, I don't necessarily personally see tarot as good or bad. It just is, okay? It's something that we all go through, really, whether um, we analyze it in that way or not, okay? And really, whether we want to or not, there's different times where we all go through a tower moment. Um, usually tower moment is something that's not fun that we don't necessarily want to go through, okay? But it is something that's kind of like divine intervention coming in and being like, if I wouldn't have made you uncomfortable, then you wouldn't have moved, okay? So something, <laughs> something crazy could have happened, all right? You could have got kicked out, lost your job, all right? Um, maybe a sudden ending to a relationship, something like that, all right? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, clarify the tower for Scorpio in the past, please. One, two, three, four. Let me get one more four, please. One, two, three, four. Okay. King of Cups in the reversal, Queen of Swords in the reverse, and the Page of Wands. Okay. Um, it looks like there's more than one person here. It's a couple of people. I will use the other deck to clarify this past situation. Okay, but we have the King of Cups in the reverse and the Queen of Swords in the reverse. So you could have two different people in your energy. One that's like emotionally manipulative and uh, the other one is probably mentally manipulative. Uh, the Queen of Swords reverse represents someone that's basically like a pathological liar. And the King of Cups reverse represents a, um, dang it, how's it say it? A wasteful, small-minded, arrogant man. Or is that the King of Pentacles? Let me look, King of Pentacles reverse. For those of you that are new to the channel, I use a book by Dusty White called The Easiest Way to Learn the Tarot Ever. I use this as a quick reference guide, even though I do know what the, the cards mean, okay? Let me see uh, King of Cups reverse really quick. 
A shifty devil, his word is not to be trusted, and his mind and loyalties changes with the tides of his emotions. P potential alcohol and drug abuse, also often emotionally unstable, before having any serious dealings with this man. Ensure that you have done some investigative research to determine the extent of his character flaws and how they affect you. And of course, it doesn't have to be a man, all right? It could be a woman, but it can be, all right? Page of Wands, uh, it looks like you're probably younger th than these people, okay? Whoever these are, this could be like uh, parents, um, someone older than you, okay? Or uh, maybe bosses for some of you. Either that or if someone that's, that you're dealing with is um, at the same age or same level as you, but you have kids with this person for some of you, okay? I'm going to use the other deck to clarify this past situation. Spirit guides, God, angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael. Clarify this past situation for Scorpio, please. Boom, 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 boom. One, two, three, four. Let me get one more. One, two, three, four. Okay. Three of Pentacles in the reverse. Um, so for some of you, it could be people that you work with or people that just do not recognize the effort that you put into whatever this relationship is, whether it be with family or um, a significant other or friends maybe all right uh, three of Pentacles reverse represents like either not getting recognized for the work that you do or someone saying that you don't do a good job with whatever work it is that you do okay or whatever work you put into something here uh, the moon reverse this could be something that you already know about you could already know how these people feel about whatever this is all right um, it represents like um, gosh words are not coming to me right now confusion deception revealed some kind of deception being revealed to you it could be about the situation or about the people that you're dealing with it says trifling mistakes truth deception recognized consciousness and clarity okay let me get one more card for this past situation for scorpio please holy spirit holy angels let me get one more four one two three four that was an one two three four okay and the knight of cups okay so this is you being able to obsess completely on a task at hand. Um, this also represents you entering into any relationship slowly and with caution. Okay, I feel like um, what this represents is whatever the situation is in the past, it has affected the re relationships that you have now. Okay, um, maybe you're not so trusting of other people and you also take your time whenever you do anything or enter into re any relationship, okay? Uh, romantic, sensitive, indolent, graceful, poetic, vain, moody, and idealistic. Okay, express your creativity with compassionate emotion. In the present, we have the King of Pentacles. Okay, so this is a good card to have. <laughs> I haven't read the King of Pentacles in a while. I will read it for you, okay? Any wealthy man, also men of power, prestige, authority, confident, or stubborn, especially men associated with, associated with land and real estate, Astrologically, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. This card most often indicates corporate executives, businessmen, investors, kings, and men directly involved with finance and the details of funding projects. As an effect or result, more than simple success in business, absolute dominance over your niche market, wise counsel from experienced men who want to see you succeed. Patience is needed in matters of finance at this time. This also indicates the wills of industry moving, but the wills are large and elephantine, moving slowly due to the massive amount of resources and human factors that need to be brought in line, okay? So you could be dealing with someone like this at this time, all right, which is very good. It could be you for some of you, Scorpio. Clarify King of Pentacles for Scorpio in the present, please. One, two, three, four. Judgments. And the Ten of Wands, okay? So this um, could have started, or one of two things, if, if this isn't the way life is going for you right now, Scorpio, it will happen at some point, but it's gonna have to happen after you let go of some kind of burden, okay? With the 10 of wands and the judgment card. The judgment card is like a marker stone place in the Akashic records that states that this ended and as a result, all right? So it just represents the end of something, but not necessarily the beginning of something else. And whatever it is, an ending is something that is a burden to you at this time. Okay, with the Ten of Wands. Um, it is The Ten of Wands is something that you did want at one point. Okay, because it's a, it's a harvest. Okay, because you, you put energy into something. You planted something. You watched it grow. And then after it grew, you got whatever it is. And now you're like, geez, this is too much. This is a lot. Okay, something like that going on. So... Let me get one more card to clarify. One, two, three, four. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, one more card. And the Knight of Swords reversed. Okay, so whoever, the, whatever this is that you need to let go of, it could be someone in your energy that is like, uh, 
Let me read Ninety Swords in Verse, because I can't remember off the top of my head right now. <laughs> Negative aspects of, of the above. Bully, abusive, quick to anger, loud, someone with a large personal collection of weapons, instigator, loud mouth, impatience, lack of foresight, religious fervor, and zeal it. Okay. So, uh, it could be someone, like, uh, one of two things. It could be a mindset that you have, all right? <laughs> um, for some of you, for others of you, it could be a person that you're dealing with like this, that whenever you're around them, it's kind of like um, having to carry the weight of something, all right? Let me get two cards to clarify. One, two, three, four. Let me get one, two, three, four. There we go. The full reverse. Whoever this person is, is stopping you from going on some kind of, like, uh, the beginning of a journey or venture or something like that, all right? It's like holding you back in some kind of way from starting a new journey. Ace of Swords is speak your mind to solve your problems, all right? It's some kind of victory as well, and it says logic, power, heart of the matter, insight, clarity, breakthrough, and ideas, okay? So I feel like maybe watching this reading, you're starting to analyze something and you're realizing something at this time, okay? The good news is in the future, you have the Nine of Cups, Okay. So this is emotional fulfillment, but it's also just happiness, okay? It's happiness um, on a very nice level. Happiness with what you're doing, happiness with the way your life is going at this time, some kind of happiness, okay? Clarify Nine of Cups for Scorpio in the future, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, one, two, three, four. Can we get one more? One, two, three, four, okay. We have the Two of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles in the reversal, okay? The Two of Pentacles usually represents um juggling finances okay but it's like some kind of juggling something all right um and i feel like it's more of an idea you're deciding something here all right you're wondering if you want to keep doing this or that and you're trying to pick between the two um i feel like you know uh, we don't have the high priestess here but intuitively you know that you are uh, putting a lot of energy into something and it's making you unhappy okay boom 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 I feel like you're happy with the way that your life is, but you're unhappy with how much you have to give to your life. I don't know, whatever the situation is, in order to get that happiness, okay? It's like, overall, you're unhappy, but you're happy in the moment. It's like you have little periods of your life where you are happy, but overall, with your life, you're unhappy with the way that it's going at this time, okay? It is in the future, though, so it's not right now. So, so you're using a lot of energy and having to give a lot in order to get the happiness out of it, okay? I'm going to get three cards to clarify. Spirit guides, God, angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael. Give me three cards to clarify the future situation for Scorpio, please. Will of Fortune. Seven of Cups in reverse, okay. And the Page of Wands, okay. So you're wanting some kind of new start to something here, or wanting to be able to look at life in a way where it's not so serious, okay. Keep your eye on your goals and enjoy every moment, okay. Courage, excitement, free spirit, love of life, enthusiastic, and discovery, okay. <laughs> trying to say two different words at the same time there okay will of fortune okay so it's like some kind of good luck coming in for you okay um this could be after you make a decision or one of two things one you don't make some kind of decision here all right and you have like options you decide not to decide and then you're like you get some kind of good luck or two you have to make a decision in order to be able to get some kind of good luck here and that's why you're stuck all right it's like you know you have some kind of good luck probably either way but at the same time uh, you know it's going to be more significant and specific if you make some kind of decision here. Desire, lust, vanity, wrath, temptation, distraction, and disarray. <laughs> okay, that's what it means in this uh, this deck, the meaning tarot deck, but in the book it means like inability to make a decision. It's like frozen in place. It's like fight or flight and you're just stuck in the middle. Okay, you don't know what to do here, but whatever you decide is going to lead to will of, for will of fortune, which is good luck and um, abundance, all right? Let's get a message from the Ancestor Oracle Cards. Thank you all so much for the new likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. It really does help out the channel. Thank you for the people that reach out for personal readings and for the people that donate to the channel. You guys are amazing, all right?
Let's see what your ancestors have to say. And I'm just going to read what your ancestors, like what they're, the meaning part today. Okay. All right. Let me get one, four, one, two, three, four. One more, please. One, two, three, four. Okay. Gardener and cultivation. All right. Gardener and cultivation. All right, this is what your ancestors would like you to hear today through me drawing this card. In addition to nurturing the growth of plants and trees, what else are you cultivating in your life? Are you sowing seeds of love and care, nurturing these with your blessings and intention? Are you paying attention to how you affect others? Do you support their growth emotionally, mentally, and spiritually? What about yourself? Are you tending to your own personal guarding? Are you tending to your own personal garden, allowing it to flourish in ways that support your spiritual growth and awareness? It's time to examine ways you ignore or inhibit your spiritual growth and take measures that will cultivate your soul's path. Grow a plant from seed and observe how you feel when you pay consistent attention to this living being's needs. Sing to her, water, water her, send your prayers, and watch what happens. All right, Scorpio, this is going to be the end of your reading for today. Love you guys. Keep your head up. Keep moving forward. And as always, love yourself first.